Hello, and welcome to Castaway Gamer TV. Love the emotion that you put into that. <laughs> Was I supposed to? <laughs> I don't know. Hello, uh, so we're going to be looking at Minecraft turrets mod today. And as the name implies, it adds turrets to Minecraft. So we've had uh, uh, dispensers for a while, and if you shove arrows in them uh, and step on a pressure plate, you can they can shoot out. But this adds uh, a whole new spectrum of self-firing weapons to Minecraft uh, because you can actually uh, aim this turret, which is a, a whole new experience. So I'm just making a turret inventory right there, and, and that holds all the stuff that uh, can go into the turret. And right here, I'm going to be making the actual turret. And I have no idea why it uses gold. I think it's supposed to be that if you're playing this game without uh, using too many items like I am, uh, it's difficult to get. So now, uh, the cannonballs, they can stack 16 in a row, and these are just the normal ones. But there are three types. Uh, there's uh, piercing, which I'm making now. Um, which allegedly fires through 10 blocks, instead of just two, that which a normal cannonball does. And then there's napalm, which sets stuff on fire when it hits it. So now, th you may be thinking right now, Turrets look like boats, but I assure you, they are turrets. And trust me, he's not lying to you. <laughs> um, so there are only three types of uh, three types of cannonballs, uh, and I think there was a, a mod patch where they said they would be adding more. But it, right now, there's only three. So right now, I'm trying to place this boat down. And I'm, I'm, it doesn't look like it, but I'm right-clicking the hell out of it. Uh, so I realized that I place an inventory and then a turret. And look! We have a turret! Isn't that amazing, Nikita? No. Okay, well, I think it was amazing. So you just load up your turret with uh, random cannonballs. And then uh, you, you ride it. You mount it, if you would. You, you would mount the turret. Never say ride again. It sounds wrong. Okay. So, you can hold shift to make it move slower, which is what I was just doing. And I was <laughs> trying to figure out how to... F oh, yeah, there I was. I was trying to figure out how to fire it, and uh, you had to press spacebar. I was trying to click. I nearly broke my own turret. <laughs> so, a normal cannonball uh, breaks two blocks. I'm trying to kill the chicken, but he moves too fast. Oh, there you go. Stupid chicken. <laughs> so I just I'm trying to cut a hole into it, but it's very hard to aim. And then uh that's the sound it makes when it runs out of ammo. Clicky sound. Mm, clicky. Yes. That's a very specific. Term. Yeah, te technical term. So now this is the piercing cannonball and it's supposed to supposed to cut through 10 blocks and it looks pretty good there. But when you start firing it like directly ahead, it just like cuts to one, and I don't know what's wrong with it. So I go to check and see if it, like if if it's something screwed up. But no, no, I just cut through one. Um. <clears throat> I just think that's a beautiful landscape. And here I am launching cannonballs. Well, that's just you. <laughs> so, for all our pyromaniac viewers, uh, we have the Napalm Cannonball, uh, and and now it's a it's a interesting name for such a complex uh, object because uh, uh, it lights things on fire. You know? I shot too far, but you can still see the flames. Ooh, that looks like a very bad idea. Yeah, I actually lit myself on fire somehow. By launching a cannonball forward, I, I, I hit myself. Mm. That's I just... thought it would explode. No, it just lights things on fire. That's... That's okay. <laughs> so now I kind of get into trying to figure out what like kind of cool things you can do with it. So... One neat thing about this is that you can actually hook it up to a redstone. And and like like with the dispenser, you can uh make it do interesting things. 
So... Ah, oh, I forgot. I needed uh, more ammo. So I loaded up with... Oh, a lot of ammo. And then uh, I make my little, uh, my little trail of red wolf stone. So now the thing is, when you when you mount it, uh, you can only fire um, one at a time. But if you set it with a lever, it'll just auto fire. Which I think is yeah, that's pretty awesome, eh? Incoming zombie attack. <laughs> I'm sure, I'm sure that that that's that's what would happen. And and so then, uh, you can also add a. Oh yeah, I was trying to kill the pig. So you can also ride it while it's uh, auto firing. Hey, I killed it with my last bullet. So I load my last two napalms in there, and I, I forget I was trying to break it, but I ended up uh, firing it anyways. It was very smart of me. I know. You can also use a button, and what a button does is it kind of makes it burst fire, so it fires three shots at once. You can't. That's the lowest amount you can fire unless you only put one cannonball in. I don't know what I'm doing right now. You're riding. <laughs> managed, I don't understand the physics of this. The ba cannibals manage to bounce back and kill you if you uh, if you shoot too close. So currently, I'm thinking it's a pretty cool mod, but it's kind of buggy. But then I gotta go into this whole you know self defense thing. So imagine there's an enemy outside your wonderful dirt castle, and and uh, and and you're like, oh no, an enemy. So you jump down and go to your handy dandy security system. You hear a little sound and look, the enemy has no legs. Oh no. So then I you don't can... know why you're saying oh no, that's Ooh. that's pretty good. Okay, you just like shot the legs off a uh, a man. <laughs> Think of kind of life you'll lead now. With no <laughs> eggs. Okay. Mind you, I just axed him in the head, so he won't live much of a life anyways. Cause he's dead. So that was the turrets mod. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, right now I'm just making a sniper tower. And uh, if you have any suggestions for mods, don't hesitate to comment. Thanks.